Texans Whisperer. I'll leave this game to you. We have the Jacksonville Jaguars coming off their Thursday night win versus the Jets. So they had a lot of rest coming into this game. They're making their way down from East Rutherford, New Jersey, down to Houston, Texas in Arlington. How do you see this going? Um, Jaguars versus Texans. Texans have been playing upset football. Three really close games. Almost beat the Cowboys. Almost beat the Chiefs. Then they got it done versus Tennessee. Do you see Jacksonville flinching in this game? Or do you see them ending the Texans uh, close game streak? Um, I think the Jaguars know what's ahead of them. Which is, if we can win the next two games, we are going to be in the playoffs. We see the Titans who have been playing terrible football and the Texans who are doing their best. The Texans are doing their best efforts to not get the number one overall pick. However, in this game, I don't think that they ruin their chances yet. Yet. (laughs) Because in week 18, they face the Colts. However, in this particular game, I think the Jags, I can see them coming into this game hot after this Jets win and maybe starting off the first quarter maybe first quarter and a half, a little slow, yeah. but second half they get rolling and then it gets ugly because it's cute. What the Texans are doing. Like, yes, it's cute. Putting in Jeff Driscoll and Davis Mills and the quarterback carousel that they're doing, but it's just not enough. The Jags, yeah. their defense played really well against the Jag, uh, the jets, their offense has been clicking. Travis Etienne's been thugging it out. Um, Christian Kirk, need I say more? Trevor Lawrence getting it done on the ground as well. So it's adorable what the Texans have done, but this is not the game for them. No. Watch them in the first half to kind of hang in there. And the second half, Jaguars take it up a notch and they they win by more. I'm going to say they win by more than 10. Yeah, I see this going like kind of like the Eagles Texans game went um, on that Thursday night where they hung in there for the first half and then the Eagles took the top off in the second half. Plus, the Jaguars really couldn't have asked for a better better schedule to end the year where you get to go to Tennessee, you blow them out, then you're at home versus Dallas, you go to New York, you get that Thursday night mini bye, so you play on Thursday night football, then you get to play the Texans, one of the worst teams in the league, then you close out the season at home, so you'll be able to stay at home um, and have a full week to prepare there and don't have to travel, get to stay in warm weather, so it's going to be great conditions for throwing the football unless we have a monsoon or a hurricane in Florida, which you never know. Um, never rule it out with Florida, man. So I feel like the Jaguars could not have asked for a better end of year schedule for momentum going into the playoffs. And if you're a young team, um, you don't know what you're not supposed to be able to do. And like a lot of people will be like, no, this team needs experience. Um, they need to go into the playoffs and lose where the Jaguars are like, wait a minute. We just won a playoff game at home. We get to match up versus uh, Baltimore and then we get to go on the road and prove ourselves. So it's like, I feel like Jacksonville is going to be the most dangerous team in the playoffs. And if Trevor figures it out, he's a perfect cold weather quarterback, six foot six can run it big arm. And he has the weapons this year. So I think the Jags are going to be very dangerous. And I like that they get the little mini buy versus the jets and they shut him out. 19 to three didn't have to exert too much energy in that game. And then I think they're going to wrap up the season on a roll. Yeah, I'm going to pick this game. I'm going to have them winning uh, 27 to 10. I think, like I said, first half, maybe they struggle a little bit, come out a little flat. Second half, ramp it up. Yeah, I think they dropped 30. I'm going to go 34 to 13. 